So, are we Look. feeling ready? Around the Stout Hill Quarter, yes? Yes, I believe you're right. And we can organize transportation for... Yeah, did you talk to Tessa? And... Uh, yes, she, we need to just get the flowers back somehow, so... Uh, okay. Corey so, or Korea. some sort of... Did Neil say Does how Does she have could... a way to get the note to us? Yes, we're going to meet um, in... Kukali Cove, a finger, a fang, fanger, fanger, finger, spooner, Phaedra, 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 and Kukati Cove, Phaedra, wow. Cove. <laughs> anemone, Phaedra, spooner. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll have a way of contacting Grimari. Mm. Okay, okay. So we just have to go. So did Neil say how we would get the flowers back, or some sort of? Uh, he didn't have courier? a proposed. He, like a person in mind, I, I said we could maybe try to hire someone. I don't know if we could hire someone to actually come with us for a leg of the journey and then collect the flowers and come back, or pay if we someone pay someone when we find Korea. them there. So I, I don't know. Again, hopefully Praxis will know somebody or trust somebody yes. enough to do something like this. All, All right. right. Okay. Let's leave. North. 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 And I take it you guys are taking the corridor route along yeah. the yes. South Hill Corridor. That's the way we have the to. The thicket now. and towards yes. the broken that's crown, our, right? That's that our best would option. go by the yes, That's how we have to, yes. Yeah. Start to head west through Naupa. You get to the villas of that neighborhood and continue on toward the river. Feels fitting that to your left, across a small field, sits the blue shingled roof of Celis' home. It's a wide chimney and raised foundation, the first of many critical landmarks that Navika Pura had in store for you. To think that a few days ago Orba was unaware of the power that lurked within her, that Sephira had no leads for dealing a potential crippling blow to the Mycanid extract trade, that Erland had never heard Marvin Bishop's voice, that Graven didn't even know his brother-in-law existed, you pass over the bridge. You say a mental farewell to those that helped you get to this point. Those that tried to stand in your way, but in doing so, only made you stronger, angrier, relentless. You ride with confidence that this northern coast of Antisuyu, its mountains and its forests, contains not just answers, but endings, monstrosities and matters to be put to rest. If at times in Navika Pura you felt like chickens running around with your heads lopped mm. off, well, now those chickens have come home to roost. One wonders if the Cold Light Walker and the Chimera felt a chill run along their spines upon your departure, <laughs> the road to the Rapras being the nape of the neck that you're breathing down. With hooves touching down on the western bank of the river, the hunt has begun in earnest. And what started as an ill-conceived Noel Witherling ambush, mm -hmm. some 30 miles east of the port of Orinchupa, is now a precision strike aimed at the continent's greatest threats, the abuses, the corruption, and the divine that would meddle when they deserve to molder. The air around you feels a little different as you leave the city behind. Continuation of a pattern of overall cooler temperatures spanning the past few days. Now back in nature, you clock this difference for the first time, with the leaves on the trees beginning ever so slightly to yellow. You grip your reins, you smile, and you nod. Considering everything that's about to happen, it only seems appropriate that the seasons are about to change. And that is the end of season one of A Peak Beneath the Veil. 100 chapters, an extra long bonus episode. Yay! As the company breaches the bridge that leaves Navikapura, officially we've meandered oh outward a couple God. times, but knowing that you won't be back for maybe a week, maybe more. We consider our next steps as the group rides north to the Rapa.